Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 7 Game Preview. And today we're going to be going over the Cardinals versus the Giants. Let's get it started. So, let's start with the Cardinals. Actually, we'll start with the spread and over-under. What am I starting with? The spread is negative 3 for the Giants, and the over-under is 50.5. And give me Arizona in this game. All right. So, this is actually a battle between the number 1 overall pick, Kyler Murray, and the number 6 overall pick, Daniel Jones. Who shall win the draft? Uh, Kyler Murray is Coming out of his shell. 34 fantasy points last week, beasting it up. 340, 340 passing yards, three touchdowns, 11 carries for 33 yards, and a couple of those were designed runs. They are using his legs on purpose. It is not just when the play breaks down, they are designing run plays for him now. That is going to put him in the upper echelon of quarterbacks. The way that it works in scoring, if you run the ball, you have a nice floor and a nice base. So then all the extra stuff you do is a great bonus putting you over the top. And he's been averaging 24 fantasy points this year. So fire him up. He's a beast. Larry Fitz, Mr. Reliable. He has been averaging 12 fantasy points a game. I love the targets. He had eight, he's averaging 8.7 targets a game this year. Last game, he had eight targets, six receptions for 69 yards. You like that? Um, I actually think that the Giants are third against the third against the wide receiver when it comes to points allowed. They allow 29.3 fantasy points to the wide receiver a game. Fire Larry Fitz up. Top 15 play this week. Um, Christian Kirk didn't play last week, but I believe... He's also out this week, which only boosts Larry Fitz. David Johnson has been playing amazing, averaging 20 fantasy points a game. He had 27 this week, eight targets, six receptions for 68 yards and a touchdown. It was a beautiful touchdown underneath the receiver. He also had a rushing touchdown. He had 12 attempts for 34 yards. He also had, for whatever reason, the Falcons decided to not guard him, and there was no one in sight for 30 yards, and he just, like, trotted down the field, like, oh, by himself. David Johnson's a beast, and his backup, Chase Edmonds, is actually a solid flex play. The last two games, 16 fantasy points, 14 fantasy points. He is very efficient with his touches. He's not getting a bunch of touches, but he's very efficient with them. Two receptions off of two targets for 33 yards and a touchdown, and it was a very nice run for a touchdown. And he had five, five rushes for 34 yards. So the touchdown's really keeping him relevant, but I do think that he's involved in this offense, and I think he's a good play. And that's going to do it for that team. Let's go over to the Giants, which getting back some people this week. So Daniel Jones had a terrible game last week, and he's been playing okay. He's had some ups and downs. He's averaging about 18 fantasy points a game. His last game, he got six. That was pretty rough. But the Cardinals' defense is not very good against the quarterback. They are actually third. But that was before Patrick Peterson was here. Patrick Peterson is back from suspension, and I believe – Arizona is no longer going to be a walkover team when it comes to defense. Patrick Peterson is one of the best defenders in the league, and I think that he starts to show it this week. Especially with um, Sterling Shepard possibly still out in concussion protocol. I love Golden Tate this week. All right, let's go down to running backs. Finally, finally, the number one consensus overall pick. Saquon Barkley is back, everyone. Saquon Barkley's back. Calm down. You can place him in your lineups. It's going to be a fun ride, everybody. I think he has a great game. Good welcome back. Should enjoy this game. Uh, and I also think that Evan Ingram might be back this week. And if he's back, start him up. Arizona has been terrible against the tight end. They are literally the worst in the league against the tight end. If you have Evan Ingram, fire him up. He's going to be great this week. That's going to do it, Fantasy Bay. If you have any questions, hit me up. Mike Williams, Fantasy Bay, I'm out.